In this video, I'm going to go over the reasons why we as people on the surface of the Earth, if it's a sphere about 4,000 miles in radius, why we don't see the curve of the sphere. That's a common argument for people who are proponents of the flat Earth hypothesis that if the Earth was a sphere, we'd see the curve, especially at the horizon. Why don't we? So. This video i'm going to tackle that issue and hopefully at the end of this you'll kind of understand the reasons why we really don't perceive one now i'll start out with just basics of circles a sphere is a three-dimensional circle so i'm just gonna start with two-dimensional circles and their characteristics so in this image you can see that i have a small circle here a slightly bigger one a slightly bigger one and then this one's even a bigger one. As you see, the larger the circle, the more gradual the curve, or the less curved, you could say. So here it's really curved, it goes around very quickly. Here it's a little more gradual. Here it's even more gradual and takes more time for it to curve away from this point here. And here, you can see that it's very gradual going away. And you can see that even if you zoom in here or you look at this little area right here, it almost appears flat even though it is a segment of this much bigger circle. Now up above here I have what looks to be two lines. They both look fairly parallel but one is a segment of a much larger circle than any of these ones below and one of them is a straight line. So I'm going to zoom out and you'll be able to see which one is a straight line and which one is actually part of a, the segment of a circle. So the top one is the straight line, and this ever so slight curve is just the line segment, or a very small part, very small arc of this much larger circle. So here you can see you can have Again, small circle, very big, quick curve. Then the curve lessens, curve lessens even more, lessens even more, and then we get to this side circle. You can see it's almost flat, and if I would have made this circle two or three times the uh, diameter as this one, then this curve would be even more gradual. The same thing happens with a sphere. The larger the sphere, the more, grad or the more gradual the curve is, and the less noticeable it is. And I'll show that in a video here. Now this was uh, animation created in Blender, which I will then go over further within the program, but this is an animation I made. This is with a camera over top of a fairly large sphere. Again, this isn't, isn't supposed to be scaled to the Earth. It's just showing that this line looks very close to horizontal. And if the sphere was 10 times as big as this, you wouldn't notice it. And the smaller it is, the more uh, noticeable the curve is. And if you look really closely, you could see this curve, but it is barely perceptible. And again, if I would have scaled this up another 10 times, it would have looked like a, a, just a straight line. So here I'm going to play this animation. And this is the camera going away from it. And you can see the more and more distance I get from the sphere, the more you can see the curve. And when I zoom out, you see the entire sphere. And here is a much smaller sphere, and you immediately on the surface can see the curve, because it's much smaller. And as you pull away, you can see that this sphere is much smaller than the other one, so its horizon was more curved. Again, the scale, the scale of the Earth compared to us is probably on the order of at least a thousand times what I use in this example. Now I'll show two other ones I made in Blender. So here is a table on the surface of either a sphere or a plane. I did two different videos. One's a sphere, one's a plane. Again, very hard to tell. That looks pretty horizontal. It's hard to tell if that's a perfectly straight line or not, but it looks very straight. And if I play the animation, I will move around and the table looks like it's on a flat surface. And the horizon looks pretty flat, but when you back up, 
see that it was on the surface of a very large sphere. And do that again. Pan around the object. Now in another Blender file, I used the exact same table and placed it on the surface of a plane. Again, the horizon looks like that. Back out. Pan around, looks like it's flat on the surface. And you back up and you can see that that one is indeed on a plane. Now go back to the other one. Get to the very beginning. And now you could see, can notice a very slight curve, but also the sphere that I used in this example is only the equivalent of about a kilometer across in radius versus a the Earth, which has uh, a radius of thousands of kilometers. So again, as I showed before, the larger the sphere, larger the circle, the less pronounced the curve. So it would be basically imperceptible at this scale, uh, at a larger scale, to even see any kind of curve here. And you know, on this small scale of just one kilometer, you could barely see the curve. Now this is the program I use again. I've used that in my other videos, Blender. And here's the one where I showed just the horizon of the two different spheres. So there's the camera right above the surface of the sphere I modeled. And if I pan along, you can see as I move out, the camera in the upper part is moving away from the surface. And you can see you're now able to see the curve. And if you back out more and more, you can see that the entire sphere. And then I'm going to switch to a different camera, which is right above the surface of a much smaller sphere. And you can see the curve. So if the Earth was like a hundred times or a thousand times uh, the size it is, or smaller, if it's only say a couple miles in, uh, in radius or in diameter, then you would be able to notice the curve, it would be very obvious. But because of the scale of the Earth being well over a thousand times the scale I'm using here, that curvature just is not visible. And even if you go up thousands of feet, you have to get up to at least 35, 40,000 feet to even start to see, really, really be able to perceive, perceive the curve. And here I can open up the other two files I was using. So here's the table on the sphere. Now if I back out, so that's the sphere, and that's where the table is, and then I can zoom in on that. And get closer and closer. And you can see the table on top of the sphere. And then I can back out again. And you can notice the sphere. And if I look at the size and scale, if I go to the camera, sphere here, you see that the radius of this sphere is just about one and a quarter kilometers, while the Earth is probably somewhere around 7,000 kilometers. I know it's about 4,000 miles, but I think that's around six and a half, seven thousand kilometers. So it's on the scale of five or six thousand times this. And if I go back to the camera view, you see even at this one kilometer, you could barely see a curve. And then as you back out, you can rotate around, you don't see the curve, and then as you back out, the curve comes more obvious, and you can see it's on the surface of the sphere. So again, all this is just basically geometry and trigonometry, circles and spheres. The Kind of to sum up here, the larger the circle or sphere, the more gradual the curve, and when you get up into the scale of the Earth, which is well over a thousand times anything I've shown here, for any person with their own eyes, in their lifetime, they will most likely never see a curve anywhere, even though it exists. Even with the oceans, it's such a gradual curve, just so gradual, that you're not going to see it.
in any small scale. You have to be able to back out to tens, hundreds of thousands of feet before the curve becomes perceptible. So hopefully this kind of clears up. And I'm not saying that this proves that the Earth is a sphere. I'm just saying that if you as a person are standing on the ground or if you're standing at the edge of a, the ocean or you're on top of a thousand foot tall building, if you say, I don't see a curve, so therefore the Earth must be flat, well, that's wrong. You can't say either way because on a flat, if the Earth was flat, you wouldn't see a curve. And because of the scale of the Earth and the very gradual nation, uh, nature of its curve, you won't see it with a giant sphere either. So there's a lot of other proof out there that proves that the Earth is a sphere, a globe. So I would try to stay away from this on either side because seeing no curve isn't proof of anything. So hopefully this clears things up and thanks for watching.